Yeah. A very good evening to uh, evening and wishing you all a very happy new year to all the eminent personalities on the panel and distinguished scholars and aspiring researchers. Myself, Dr. Nikita Pandit, the um, and, uh, taking care of the quality aspects at innovative publications. So I welcome you all for joining, uh, joining us a uh, two-day uh, session. That uh, this is the third and last session uh, for our innovative publishing week, and this week is designated uh, designed as for authors especially. And uh, it is my honor and the pleasure to have you all in this meeting and the session uh, 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 name is a journey from imagination to publication and uh, um, we are trying our continuous efforts for the um, quality publications and we are trying to support you and take uh, even uh, good uh, um, knowledge and uh, standing in the publication through all of our team and uh, i congratulate every editors and uh, authors reviewers uh, whose journals are getting index recently in the scopus and number of our journals are getting in scopus this year so this is a nice uh, beginning of our 2024 so as always, I um, uh, 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 use this particular phrase that research is a backbone uh, to society. And here we tried our best to strengthen the research in a form of publication. So uh, I am delighted to extend my warm gratitude to Dr. Anu Sharma, Madam. Uh, Editor-in-Chief to Indian General of Anatomy and Physiology. She is a professor, Department of Anatomy, Dayanand Medical College and Hospital, Ludhiana, Punjab. Uh, I and welcome you, madam, and please enlighten us uh, with their, uh, your knowledge and ideas in research publication. My sincere thanks to all editors, reviewers, authors, collaborators, editorial staff, publishing team for their hard work and many congratulations to all of you to be a part of great researchers team of leading journals. I'm excited to share with you all uh, in this year that we cross a number of hurdles and win a numbers in a progress. The big breakthrough or is, 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 is scopus indexing of in Indian General of Clinical and Experimental Ophthalmology, Indian General of Obstetric and Gynecology Research, uh, Panacea General of Medical Science, Indian General of Clinical Anesthesia, Indian General of Clinical and Experimental Dermatology, Indian uh, General of Medical Microbiology and Tropical Disease, APRT also, and few generals into the UGC list, uh, which is not uh, in Scopus right now, but very soon we will get it in the Scopus too. I'm thrilled to announce a significant development for IJCM. The World Association of Medical Editors will, uh, has officially recognized and endorsed, uh, inducted Dr. Lalit Gupta, sir, editor-in-chief of IJCA as an official member of WAM, that is World Medical, uh, World Association of Medical Editors. This recognition by WAM is a testimony of outstanding contribution and expertise in a field of unscoring, underscoring the journals in commitments to the scholarly excellence and uphold the highest standard in academic publishing. So it is also signed seamlessly with our goal for fostering a dynamic platform of cutting uh, cutting is research in medical fields. So at the innovative publication, our commitment to fostering excellence in scholarly communication, I congratulate once again all the editors who get excellence awards in this uh, in the last session, all the reviewers who get excellent award in a reviewership. And today I uh, congratulate 
pre uh, i mean uh, in advance to all the um, best authors in a various category so uh, in the continuation now i would like to request dr anu sharma madam to come on a dais and uh, enlighten us uh, enlighten us with her knowledge about the party thank you madam thank you so much a very good evening to all present and a very happy new year uh, to everyone uh, this is the beginning and uh, um, i'm very hopeful that uh, the things will be progressing in a right direction for uh, the journals and my best wishes are always there so i'll share my screen now can i please do that Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. So yes, madam, it is on a slide share mode. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for um, giving me the opportunity to speak on such a uh, you know enlightening topic for everyone. Uh, because uh, nowadays writing uh, for journal and publication is becoming mandatory for uh, the promotions. So we have to learn all those things. So this is the week uh, going on with the um, IP Innovative Publication House. And uh, I will be talking about on authorship, a journey from imagination to publication expectations of editors and reviewers from a manuscript. So what are the expectations? So myself, um, Dr. Anu Sharma, I am editor-in-chief of Indian Journal of Clinical Anatomy and Physiology. And uh, right now I'm working with DMC as Professor Anatomy. So let's have an overview of the presentation, how we should go about it. So first thing is, Whenever we start writing and we target any journal, we should be very clear about one thing, that the manuscript which we are writing should fall within the scope of the journal. That's very, very important. The writing, the manuscript as such can be very good, can be very beneficial for some other journal. But the journal which we are targeting, uh, it should fall in that uh, particular domain of the journal. Then we have article following journals guidelines or not. When we start writing, there is a technique, this is a skill. We should know journals guidelines. What exactly are the ways to write any article? <clears throat> we should follow it. So I'll be taking up, uh, you know, subsequently a little bit more elaboration on all these points. But this is, um, you know, in brief, it is there which we all must uh, ponder on to. Then originality, a very important component. If something is original, only then, you know, there is um, use of that research because as such, uh, we have, uh, we used to have bad name. Now it is improving that in India, most of the researches are, uh, you know, going on as fake. So we, um, to some extent, we are, we have managed to, you know, uh, just uh, counter it. And we are in the process of doing it more. We all as Indians, we should try more and more for the originality of the work. And once we know that this is original work, this is my own research, not picked up from anywhere. Data is original. Then what about the content quality? Whatever we have for the article, is it adequate? The content is delivering to the society in any ways. That's very important. And whenever we're writing something, the language has to be very clear. If the language is um, clear, simple, and uh, delivering the content properly, only then it is of any use. Paper maintains high ethical standards. So before writing any paper, now it is a norm of almost all the journals. 
that there has to be ethical clearance, which has to be produced before submitting the article. So there should be high ethical standards, the ethical clearance from the institute should be there. And there are various guidelines by ICMR and other agencies which uh, maintain the ethical standards and we all should follow them. Then point number seven, research consistency. Now, research consistency is something relevant with whatever work we are doing. Uh, it should be consistently following our goals also. What is our aim? So that, that we should keep on, you know, reviewing. That is our research falling in the same uh, uh, zone? Is it following the same norm? So that we should look into. Noble methodology. The methodology has to be very noble. Now, what do we mean by that noble thing? I mean, the no methodology, if we are specifying something that we are going to follow this methodology, we should uh, follow that and it should be of the standard norms, not like that uh, it should be arbitrary and it should be on anyone's whims and fancies. Then results and outcomes of the study. So the results and the outcomes of the study, they should be very clearly stated and they should meet the objectives of the article or the manuscript or the research work but and last but not the least is citations and references so without citations and references our work uh, will not be uh, able to you know we will not be able to accomplish the task which we have taken in our hands so let's talk about manuscript within the scope of the journal so the manuscript every manuscript has some purpose or objective and it should be very clear, as I have already said, like if our objectives are clear, our research will be goal oriented. So first of all, we should work why we are taking up this research. So that will become our objective. Manuscript document should be specific to goals and deliverable. If something is not deliverable, so then there is no use. That is the whole idea behind, you know, doing the research and publishing it because we are delivering the content to the society, to the international platforms, to all the audience and the researchers all over the world. Out of scope manuscripts are unworthy. As I have already told also, like if we are writing something and we want to target some particular journal, we should see that this uh, manuscript is following in that particular uh, journal scope that journal is accepting it. For example, if I'm talking about Indian Journal of Clinical Anatomy and Physiology, so it should be pertaining to that. If I'm, uh, you know, writing something which is um, relevant to some other journal, some other clinical domain, so then that manuscript should go for that particular journal. If manuscript does not fall within the scope of the journal, then it lacks originality. So that's what we should consider that whenever we are writing, it should be in the scope of the journal. Then what about guidelines? So it's very important. If guidelines are not according to publishing journals guidelines, so it won't be accepted. As simple as that. If I am writing something to someone and if I'm not following the norms of that particular journal, uh, which and most of the journals have put their guidelines on the websites, and uh, in innovative publications, all the guidelines are there on the website. So we can see them and we can follow those guidelines when we are writing the manuscript. Unstructured article will be rejected during scrutiny by publication editorial team. And it's not only publication editorial team, it's the reviewers also. Because reviewers, uh, the article, whenever we receive any article, we send the articles to the reviewers as well. So if it is unstructured, we are not uh, able to, you know, clearly well-defined terms that this is the objective, this is the methodology, and what are the results, what are the outcomes. So every journal has put up those headings under which the article has to be written. So that structure of the article should be there. It increases overall impact and quality of the journal. If the, you know, all the articles pertaining to one particular journal, if following the same structure, definitely it will be looking more, you know, in uh, unison with what has been stated 
uh, on the websites. So it will look good. Perform it <clears throat> according to guidelines. Make all articles look similar in framing. So if we have proper format, hoga, so that will be uh, similar lagega, and then it will be uh, you know more authentic and more original. So let's talk about originality a little bit. Originality, what exactly is the meaning of originality? It means the article is free from plagiarism. So that's very, very important, you see, because um, nowadays, I mean, um, the uh, many people just for the sake of promotion are, uh, you know, submitting the articles irrespective of the fact that they have to have their own uh, data and own language. If you're just picking up the language from uh, internet or some other article, then it will be there are softwares present with all the journals and they pick that thing up. And then on that basis, the article is rejected. So we have to, uh, you know, be very particular that we don't copy the things from already published articles. We have to be very original. We are full of ideas. We might as well use them. And it should have original research data. And this originality refers to lending one's personal uniqueness and style to an idea. So uh, we all human beings are born with, you know, some unique things. We Our fingerprints are unique. Our faces are unique. So our styles are also unique. And why not adopt our own style of writing? So that will be more uh, impressive and uh, delivering a new thing to the world. It increases number of readers who all are looking for new research and new data. So that's very important that we maintain our originality. Now, what about content quality? Content quality, if it is high quality, the research which we are undertaking is, you know, adding some contribution to the already existing researches which are going on or which have already occurred, then it will be uh, definitely, it will have more value. And it should be free from plagiarism and it should be according to journals guidelines and there should be uniqueness of all research. It's not that that somebody has done one particular research and we are following the same research because it's easier to pick that kind of research and publication ethics should be followed. So that's very, very crucial and important because uh, with so many legalities going on, ethics should be considered um, as an utmost priority. Language clarity. So writing clear and concise sentences. Sometimes what happens, we try to frame sentences which are very long, and then uh, when the sentences are very long and then they lose the meaning somewhere in between and then there is uh, the conciseness of the concept is also gone. So if the language is clear and concise, then it is more deliverable. The person understands it better and grammatical mistakes, obviously. And there are so many softwares available nowadays which can look after the grammatical mistakes and uh, before submitting the article, one should uh, scrutinize on their own behalf also whether there is some any grammatical mistake or not. No passive voice sentences should be used. Harsh free content not targeting any other community or ethics. That's important. See, sometimes we are writing, see, um, a few days back or um, somewhere I was uh, reading an article about the multilingual, uh, you know, language concept. And uh, those things, if we are writing it, okay, because there are certain things which we have to write in discussion, but then we don't have to demean any language. We don't have to say like English is the only one and the other languages cannot work, but See, everything is possible. So we have to be very careful about uh, writing any harsh free content. So that's, um, that should be uh, taken care of. Then comes ethical standards. As I have already mentioned about ethical standards, the <clears throat> author is always asked to submit the ethical clearance certificate from the institute. And there should be proper acknowledgement, author contribution, any conflict of interest, any uh, you know funding agencies which are uh, doing it, and data availability statements and citation. 
So all these things should be clearly stated and uh, plus the ethical clearance certificate from the institute. Because um, I guess uh, nowadays it has become mandatory for all the institutes to have institutional ethics committee and there they review uh, the you know research before uh, submission and before uh, rather at the first step before it's being undertaken in any of the institutes. Then we have here research consistency. An editor and reviewer should target the following. Consistency between full and short titles, similarity between methods and results in abstract section, the same answer in conclusion to research objectives. Sometimes what happens? We write something in the abstract uh, conclusion and in the, um, you know, when the article is ending and we are writing conclusions specifically, the both the things are not matching. So the reader gets confused and um, it becomes incons inconsistency as far as, uh, you know, research field is concerned. So to make the result consistent, our writing should also be proper and we should be writing the same thing thing at um, if if we are writing conclusion and abstract it should be the same as we are writing conclusion in the end of the manuscript so those two things should match noble methodology the methodology section should be well structured and it should carry scientific ways of research avoid jargons there should not be any arbitrariness See, there the scientific work is very well defined. If we want to take any landmark, it has to be that landmark. It has to be on specific, um, for example, if I talk about anatomy and we are talking about some landmark, it has to be, um, the measurement has to be from uh, some point of that landmark, which we should specify properly. It's not that that I have taken any point on any landmark, it's not like that. Midpoint, laterally, medially, so that should be uh, specified. And then avoid jargons. I mean, it should not be um, uh, written um, in a hashed manner. It should be pointers with subheadings. It should describe participants, design, and method. So everything should be clearly stated. What are the what are going to be the material and what is going to be the method? So that should be specifically mentioned. Then we have um, now we have you know undergone various uh, planning stages. We have uh, designed our methodology. We have framed. Now we have started doing our research, and then we have uh, the results of that research. We have to you know comprehend them. So following points should be considered while writing results or outcomes of the study. So how we should write them? See, we have already done the work, then the work should be in the obviously past form. It should not be in the present form. And describe data found on the basis of investigation. It should be evidence-based. If suppose I'm doing some work, uh, for example, if I'm taking, for example, fingerprints, of uh, which we call as dermatoglyphics. Then I have to add those fingerprints in my research work somewhere so that at least I'm giving the idea to the to my readers, to the um, the you know audience or wherever people are reading it, that this is the way it looks like and it should be original. So it is all evidence-based. And whatever tools we are using, we should give pictures, we should describe them. So it should be like that. And proper use of statistical terms in the result should be there. So statistical, whatever statistical test we are using, it should be clearly defined. Now, last but not the least, citations and references. So there are nowadays a lot of you and cry about citations and references also. For example, some, uh, if I am I have my articles and I am writing some uh, new manuscript and I am giving reference of my articles, so they will not add to my indexing anyways. So it is not going to raise my H index or I index. So I have to be careful what I have to cite how I have to cite, and there is a writing style for that. So in a reference list, only the items 
who you have actually cited should be mentioned. It's not like that uh, I just want to favor someone ki okay, the reference is there, the person, um, the article is referred so many times, it will increase the number. It should not be like that. If it is genuinely required, only then it should be cited. And there is a way to write it and it is an old time old concept of Vancouver style. It is uh, followed and uh, it is still followed. So that should be followed. And reference list entry should include four essential elements, author, date, title, and source. So all these things complete the citations um, idea because if one somebody wants to trace, then with the help of all these criteria, one can trace. So uh, with this, I think um, I, I have tried to give some overview of how to write so that it helps the authors. I thank you all for your time and attention today. Your presence has made a difference and I'm grateful for your participation. I'm grateful to Innovative Publication team to invite me for this uh, you know, elaboration. Thank you so much, madam. Uh, thank you, Dr. Anu Sharma, ma'am. Uh, you are uh, a great editor and uh, we uh, are expecting our uh, general very soon uh, in Scopus. Uh, so congratulations to uh, everyone uh, of the... Mm, congratulations to everyone who is getting, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, awards as a editor as a reviewer and as a author into the IJCAP that is Indian General of Clinical uh, Anatomy and Physiology. So thank you madam. Uh, thank now, you. Yeah now I have find a nice question for you uh, in a chat box that uh, Dr. Naveen is asking I have question related to citing a published picture. Is it mandatory to take permission from author who previously published the image or we can just cite their ref and reference it is fine. Uh, if the permission they are taking, then it is a long process. So how, uh, I mean, what you want to suggest on this? Ideally, it should be permission taken. Uh, but the thing is, I mean, it depends on from where you are taking it also. For example, you are just picking it up from Google. Even then, there are, you know, uh, many ethical norms involved. But uh, for that matter, it's an open content. We cite it and we can write over there. But if you are, uh, you know, taking from some book or uh, some publisher whom you have, uh, you can personally target uh, it is always better to take permission from the person otherwise you will have to generate it on your own you and that is what is originality see i want to take some picture from internet very easy i will just pick it up for, for any procedures or uh, something but uh, what will be better if i take the picture myself so that is one thing so it or that will lead to originality and permission taken is um, uh, yes, should be uh, in in addition to uh, that. Can I allow, ma'am? Uh, yeah, please, guess, please, yeah, please, please, uh, please go ahead. Please. Go. Uh, in in addition to this, I would like to inform you that in every uh, data and document available on the net, uh, there is some licensing detail is mentioned yeah. there. Uh, that is CC uh, the, uh, copyright license, right? Mm -hmm. So just go through it. And uh, uh, all the licensing terminology is clear, clearly uh, mentioned there. So try to understand that the copyright clearance mm -hmm. CC uh, uh, this, uh, uh, norms and use the uh, reference. Just try to quote every reference. If you are not quoting, then it is plagiarized. If you are quoting, then it is ethical. So just go ahead on that uh, particular thing. So there is no long procedure in this case. Still, if you want to take uh, uh, personal permission from the author, you can even uh, connect with uh, uh, them 
through the um, email id because whenever someone is not giving the permission then they must mention their email id on the document thank you so uh, madam after this uh, uh, as uh, we have one poll question for uh, every one of us so that uh, uh, we can have an interactive uh, answering also from your side okay uh, sure yeah uh, madam one question more uh, doctor uh, yeah if we have any relevant papers of our own published article then why can't we give reference in our own papers i mean uh, self citation ki baat karna cha rahe hain. <laughs> see you can give there is no problem self citation you can do but the thing is uh, see there is a way of counting uh, the references and there that self citation is not increasing your reference number the citation number so that's the issue otherwise if it is relevant you can of course give so that's not a problem you can yeah, self citation give. self citation is a very uh, uh, good uh, way actually uh, because what happen is we are continuously researching on some particular topic so uh, if you uh, did previous re uh, research and you can link it with uh, your new uh, research then there is no problem actually the self citation you can do and it is easy actually and good uh, to your own uh, scientific database also so now i am launching one poll well, one question is for us actually are you providing certificate for the program yeah for every program which is scientifically conducted by innovative publication or the related society we are providing the certificates and the youtube links as a resource for you all uh, so the first uh, uh, poll question is objective of a study must be relevant and time bound specific and measurable both one and two and none of above So, uh, 30 second passed and most of the answer uh, is number third that is uh, relevant and time bound and specific and measurable. So, uh, this is the end of poll and uh, thank you for uh, sharing your views on this. So, uh, I would like to thanks again Dr. Anu Madam. And thank you, uh, thank you so much. Yeah. Now I would like to ask uh, Miss Sadna Ranjan. Uh, she is a young and enthusiastic team member of Innovative Publication and uh, and radi radiologist. And I have a great uh, uh, team. Uh, is a, she is a great team member and working as an editorial assistant to the uh, number of journals to Innovative Publication. She will uh, suggest you and uh, guide you about a uh, few facts about the research publication through innovative publication. Thank you. Welcome, Sadna. Thank you very much, ma'am. I hope I'm audible to all. Uh, yes, you are audible. Thank you. Thank you for giving me opportunity to express my, uh, my knowledge and to put a shine on the topic. And let me share my screen. Is it on full screen, ma'am? Uh, yes, Sadna, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So my today's topic uh, is how to publish. So how to publish is very important. So we should know about well, when we are just going through that what is the main purpose of publishing is to know how to do that. 
so uh, on three minutes uh, of for this uh, session this is the third session of course this is the a uh, journey from imagination to publication so myself sadna rajan and as uh, nikita ma'am introduced me so well so i'm a tutorial assistant in the uh, in the respective organization so this is the slide now okay so outlines and uh, the overview of my topic are these that we just need to go uh, with the first topic is select a topic and research first of all whenever we are planning to uh, write a research or to create a research we should know what will be the topic and what will be the research so this is very mandatory to put uh, and to pick up the accurate and uh, appropriate topic for the research second one is write a quality paper everyone every organization every uh, association or a team requires for a quality stuff so yeah it is very mandatory to uh, write a quality paper third one is choose a right journal we should know as anu ma'am also uh, told about this that we should pick up a right journal to publish our knowledgeable article it should be relevant and it should be according to the journal's guidelines and to the right journal uh, next one is follow all submission guidelines there are some of the submission guidelines from the publication teams we should uh, but we should have to follow next one is write a detailed cover letter cover letter is something in which a author needs to put all the details of them like uh, uh, their affiliation their contact number their designation and everything that should be mandatory next one is submit your article how to do that i'll let you know by doing it practically next one is wait for next response from journal what we have to do by by submitting our article we should need to uh, expect and to wait for the next response from the journal and from the editorial team then respond to feedback accordingly whatever feedback we get from the editorial team and from the public publication team we, we just need to respond them accordingly and sign the required documents regarding publishing copyright and whatever required documents uh, are there what is required by the, and what is asking by the team we should need to sign them and put all the needfuls and next one is publication and then our main motto what is publication has to be done and it will done accordingly okay so going with the first topic our first topic is choose a topic and research what are the things to remember while choosing the topic for the article consider a topic which is under scope of the journal whenever we are going to select the topic we just need to know that whether the topic is according to the journal or not this is like if we are going to any uh, like uh, we are going to a utility shop and we are asking for the for the clothes is it like something illogical so yeah of course if we are choosing some uh, topic it should be relevant according to the journal that for example i am a radiologist so if i am taking a topic of radiation safety then of course it should be come under the scope of a radiation safety journal only next topic uh, next one is topic should be unique and interesting our topic should be always interesting and unique it should not be copied because if we uh, just uh, choosing a topic which is already been picked by some other uh, many people and it should uh, and we do not carry any kind of uniqueness so it should not uh, it will not attract many readers it will not attract uh, many people towards our uh, article so there is no uniqueness in it so we should always try to pick a topic which should which is very unique interesting and attract more and more readers next one is make sure your topic meets the assignment requir requirements as some of the journal guidelines there are some of the like rule and regulations are there so we should always uh, meet the topic with the assignment requirements we should always put a relevant topic which is according to the stuff we are putting in our article next one is find background information we should always try to find the background of our topic is it relevant is it informative for the future studies and it will be helpful or not evaluate what you find always whatever you are searching you are exploring we should evaluate it first whether it's right or not next one is review and revise your topic if the topic is selected we should 
revise it again as again and again and review it again and again whenever we revise and review something so we always find it to uh, find some mistakes and we always find some other ways to recover it and to uh, just correct some of our mistakes by our own so we should always revise and review our topic by our own self next one is communicate and justify your topic whenever any of other people of any other readers or reviewer team or anyone can ask you the question related to your topic we should have the enough information to justify our topic and we should have a relevance points to justify the topic uh, the topic necessity and topic uh, topic uh, main motto so next one is research should be useful for future studies as i told you that whatever topic we are selecting should be useful and helpful for future studies if it is not so it will not attract many readers and it will not be so much uh, no it will not be so much helpful so another top, uh, topic is our uh, right quality paper so whenever we are doing something it should carry some of the quality so select relevant and powerful topic which is useful in future researches we should always uh, choose a topic which is powerful and which is for the future researches design and frame strong research methodology methodology plays a very significant role as whatever method whatever way we are selecting to uh, make a research plays a very significant role and it it decides in which direction our article will go next one is structure the paper according to the publication guidelines we should always met with the guidelines publication guidelines it should be structured it should met with the proper word limit mm -hmm. and everything Oh, what happened? Yeah, uh, so, uh, Sadna. Uh, having some uh, technical glitches. So I'm going to continue right now uh, with announcement of few of our uh, yes. so during the publishing week in previous session for the editors and authors, we had uh, announced the uh, best editors and authors in our previous sessions. So here, uh, the training insights, which uh, uh, definitely you had attended uh, by uh, attend by Dr. Anu Sharma, Madam, and Sadhna Ranjan. Uh, she is uh, going to continue after my uh, few announcements. So uh, this uh, is the um, clips of few gifts which you are going to get very soon after uh, uh, this particular program. You get uh, the your certificate and gifts physically. So um, I would like to congratulate first the best author uh, certificate uh, and it is awarded to Dr. Balaji Arumugam as the best author for the Journal of Community Health Management. Congratulations, sir. Uh, then Fabi T. Francis, he is a, a best author in a Indian Journal of Pathology and Oncology. Uh, along with this, I just want to share you a great news that uh, General of Diagnos Diagnostic Pathology and Oncology uh, is, is now uh, in Scopus Index. So share your articles more and more for the journal. And uh, now uh, the next one is Dr. Richa Mishra, Madam, for General of Management Research Analysis. And uh, uh, Dr. Almond Kamil, uh, Kamai, 
फॉर आई पी इंटरनेशनल जनरल ऑफ मेडिकल पेडिट्रिक्स एंड ऑनकोलॉजी आई विल शेयर अदर नेम्स वेरी सून uh in between i like to ask sadhna again she is visible to me so please join uh, please share your screen and continue your presentation sadhna thank you sadhna Yes, ma'am. Is it visible now? Ah, uh, you are visible. Ah, uh, but your slides are not visible. Is it visible now? I am able to see. Yes, that. yes, yes, yes. Go ahead, Sadna. Thank you. Okay, so let's come back to the topic. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Okay, so my next topic was cite a quality paper. So our uh, paper should be should carry some of the quality because structure paper according to the publication guidelines should is very very important and design frame strong. Research methodology is very necessary for the attractive and for the quality paper. Careful planning, clear communication, quality content should be present. We should always plan carefully before writing a paper because. pre planning is very necessary to to hold the quality in the pre paper we, we or communication and writing in the paper should be very clear and precise as anu ma'am told that our communication and whatever writing style whatever language we are choosing for our article always impact the quality of the paper quality content which is, which is, which means the relevancy of the content which which means that accurate data should be present which makes the paper the quality paper collect and convey right data and right information we cannot put any false information and any wrong information in our article in our paper cause it affects our our quality of the paper which means that uh, if someone question about uh, about the data and if, uh, about the wrong information it means it doesn't carry the quality it means it is low in the grade should follow and respect publication ethics some of the publication ethics are there which means we should need to respect and we should follow which means we should not uh, we should not affect and we should not use any harsh language we cannot uh, put such kind of words which is uh, which affect other community other people other region mention all sections thoroughly and accurately there are many sections in our paper like aims and objective abstract keywords methodology and etc it should be mentioned separately and all section should carry uh, some of the stuff in the precise way and in a informative way avoid plagiarism the copied stuff is not valuable whenever we are writing a paper we should always try to put the original stuff we always take care of the originality and we should not copy the stuff from the other papers and from the other people because it always affects our quality which means whatever is already been read by the other people people doesn't want to read it again it so we always need to avoid plagiarism next one always use scientific language we cannot use any kind of language any kind of words in our paper we should need to use scientific and relevant language which should which which should be related to our content and should be related to our topic of the article avoid gramma grammatical mistakes if, we, if there is a grammatical mistakes in our paper which means that we are not that much knowledgeable and we are not that much perfect by writing all the stuff and uh, it will impact the overall quality keyword should be from mash terminologies which means that whatever words which we are using in our article should be uh, scientifically proven and we should be scientifically related and which should be in the topic or also uh, for example if we are selecting any kind of radiology uh, article if we are writing in a radiology article it is uh, about the protection so the protection word should be in the topic as well when it is present in the keywords next one is choose a right journal as i told you whenever we are trying to um, 
select a journal, it should be a right journal. If we are uh, writing up article related to the anatomy, so it should be the it should be connected to the uh, relevant journal. Whenever we are uh, writing a journal with uh, article regarding the radiology, so it should be concerned and it should be uh, go in the right journal. So we are having as an author, we are having the option to choose the journal. So we always take care of that that whatever article we are writing, it should go to the right journal. Make a list of scope-based journals which is related to the manuscript. You should need to know whenever, whatever article we are choosing, whatever journal we are choosing, whether it is scopic or not, whether article is based on that journal or not. For example, we are writing a journal article on the radiation protection or radiation safety. So it should be go to the same scope. Otherwise, it will be get rejected by the publication team and we will be wasting our time. Identify and avoid rapacious hunting journal which only misguides. Some of the journals are giving the false statement in the market and they are the hunting journals. They just want to pick up the articles. They, they are needful for the articles to, uh, meet, to meet the needful uh, criteria for the particular journals and that's why they are misguide the authors and by telling them that it's, it is scopic, it comes under the scopes, it is relevant and all. So we should always explore and we always need to look by our own self whether it is scopic and whether it's going to the right journal or not. Next one, indexing branding of journal should be valuable. Indexing means the branding of the journal, which means like scopers, DOJ, etc. If we are going with a good brand, whenever, for example, if we are going for the shopping, we always look for a good brands. So when we are writing a valuable stuff, when we are giving such a kind, such a knowledgeable stuff in our article, so we should always go with the brand of the journal. Okay, so it should be a very uh, like it should be decided in a very important way, and uh, uh, branding is very important, and it should be reliable. Cost amount charges consideration, that is APC, article of publication charges. So we always need to compare the APC, article publication charges of all the journals, whether it is the, whether it is um, meet with our, whether it is meet with our budget or not. And also some of the journals in the market are giving some cheap prices to attract the, attract the article. So we always take care of that that we cannot uh, misguide and uh, we cannot go with the cheap prices and we always look for the quality stuff. And if the journal is giving uh, us a discount um, uh, or a cheaper uh, cheaper amount, so we should always uh, see why it is so. Why if it is uh, uh, it is indexed or brand, if, a, if, a, if it is a good brand, so it, is, it will always give you a price accordingly. Next one. Time frame deadline to publish the journal. We always giving our variable time. We always want that uh, our art article needs to be published with a time frame. So always compare that uh, time frame and deadline of for the publishing in a particular journal. If it is uh, it is okay and uh, we are having that much time for that journal, so we can go to submit our article in that particular journal. Next topic is choose a right journal. Okay, so we check demand and scope of the journal. If the if there is a lots of demand and scope of the journal in the market, it means it carries a good quality. So we always go for that. Age of the journal always matters. If the journal is new in the market, it means it doesn't carry that much value. If the journal is old, that means it has a good marketing value. It has a good brand in the market. Now. Follow all submission guidelines of the journal. Some, there are some of the steps of submission. We just need to go with the right journal. We just need to you know, do the manuscript structure, framing, and we have to put our cover letter, which is the information, and all the uh, um, all the information regarding uh, our uh, affiliation and our designation. It should be covered in the cover letter. It should be submitted separately. And next step is submission. Then the revision, if there is any correction, any kind of uh, uh, mistakes we are putting in our journal, uh, in our article, so it will be detected by the 
editorial team by the experts and they will give us the revisions so we have to work that work on it accordingly and give them the corrected files so that they can take care take, take care of that and they will look for the corrected file and move the process next is when they accept our file when they when all the mis mistakes has been detected and everything is corrected the next step is acceptance the editorial team accept our paper and give us the acceptance letter and after it finally the publication done for that particular thing on the portal or on the uh, website we are having that submission checklist how to do that that uh, what are the criteria and what are the requirements of the publication team from the author next topic is write a detailed cover letter how to write a cover letter and what is cover letter cover letter must be included with each manuscript uh, submission and concise and explain why the content of the paper is significant and content content of existing work so cover letter means that each manuscript submission is concise and it should explain the uh, paper is significant and it is written by the affiliated people it should explain the manuscript is suitable for the scope of the journal and this means that the manuscript is suitable for the journal it is the evidence of, by the author to the editorial team and to the publishing team next one is the cover letter should prove the following manuscript title type of manuscript author's full name complete application contact number the author's email id orchid id or a research profile now whenever we are we are done with all the steps of our article then it is a high time to submit your article and follow the steps steps of article submission on mprt is once we first of all we just have to register on the website by putting all the credentials or login ids but we are using in uh, as an author in the future then we need to log in as an author choose journal and submit all required details i will tell you how to do that Thank you, Sadna. Okay. Are you showing something online? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Oh, so uh, just uh, stop sharing your screen and uh, again you try to say uh, share it. In between, uh, I have some questions for Dr. Anu Sharma, madam. I will take it and announce other uh, winners. Dr. Anu, madam, are you there? Yeah, yeah hello. Yes. Uh, Sadhna, can you please stop sharing your screen? Yeah, thank you. Uh, so, ma'am, there is few questions for you. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, I will ask you that questions uh, mm -hmm. on behalf of our participants. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, can you please elaborate about the Vancouver styles? See, um, it is better if you see it, you will, it is very simple. Uh, you just, uh, you know, Google it, Vancouver style and the things will be there. Because uh, just uh, telling you will not be, you know, uh, good to comprehend. And Vancouver style is there um, on easily available. And, and, and I'll tell you one more thing. Uh, when we are writing, we don't have to write it ourselves in Vancouver style because Ajkal, the every article, every journal is giving the citation how to write it. So that citation, you copy it and you uh, give it in the reference list. 
because that thing is already uh, looked after by the journals. Whenever you see any article, you must have seen that how to give the citation of this article. So that citation is there. And for the Vancouver style, you can um, look into the, you know, uh, Google and it will tell you. And it is just theoretical sake. Otherwise, you are not writing it yourself. Uh, exactly. You have to quote the reference in a Vancouver style, which, uh, 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 which should be mentioned in the general's guideline. Uh, but uh, uh, in-house then general team, which is working on the um, copy editing work, they will prepare uh, the citation uh, processes for your article there. So final uh, typesetting and processor should be taken care of this. And uh, I would like to ask you all to stay tuned for tomorrow session. Uh, because uh, this is the topic for tomorrow's session that is citation and uh, the stylings in the paper. So uh, this is and one more question is for uh, that the any general for the orthodontist. Yeah, uh, one of our general that is annals of prosthodontics, uh, prosthodontics and restorative uh, dentistry is also get indexed with the uh, scopus. So send your articles here more and more research article for this. Um, Madam, one more question, Dr. Uh, uh, Dr. Deepika, process to get ethical clearance for a person who is working in a private dental or medical practitioner. For uh, instance, if we are working in an institute, we are getting ethical clearance, but how to get for the private sector? So uh, okay. do you have any? Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a, I think a very uh, good question because uh, it's a common problem with the practitioners. So what you can do, I mean, uh, there must be some local uh, institute, local body, which is, uh, you know, authorized to give institutional clearance. So you can have a tie up over there. You can present your case there. They generally uh, put you on the list and then they overview it and then they can give you uh, clearance. So it is happening at many places uh, where uh, private practitioners are working. They just, uh, in the regional colleges, they can approach to. The private medical colleges, they can approach to. They can have, and there are something called uh, MOU types also, but that is for a bigger institution. But probably if you go and uh, people are accepting, putting you on the list and then ethical review is possible. Uh, this terminology also known as the collaboration, that is research collaboration. If you have something with your uh, a clinical expertise and uh, you can uh, get a good data on that, you just collaborate with some research institution or any any of the, um, uh, um, I mean, academic institution. And uh, uh, one of the senior people or the uh, professors and uh, uh, the HODs or anyone, they can must help you with the uh, uh, clearance if they can understand and accept your research in the, uh, in the right direction, actually. So uh, am I right, madam? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Actually, the thing is, that is the significance of uh, you know, enlisting your work with the local organization who is uh, which is into research. So yes. whether it is medical college or any other organization, research organization, so they have the proper procedure, they have the proper format, and rather it will be good for the for your research also, because what happens? Those people will give certain inputs which are going to uh, give you you know, better methodology, better style of writing and better uh, better research ways. Value so, addition. Mm, yeah, Value that addition. is going to help. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one question is for NMC uh, guidelines of uh, uh, this uh, indexing. So you can publish it on any of the PubMed index, uh, then uh, uh, this uh, Scopus index, DOAG, uh, apps, apps for, no. Ambase, Ambase, sorry, Ambase Extend Databases. So these all, uh, these all are the NMC uh, guidelines for publication. 
and uh, you go through the as uh, ranjana uh, stated in her presentation you go through the journal suggestors software which is available on our website for selecting your journal for a uh, uh, good journal where it is fit actually what happen is for every journal they have their own scope of work of publication so uh, they have their own keywords so once you um, uh, put your title in the general suggester then the number of journals is come on to your screen and you can finalize the general of every good journal is uh, giving all the policies transparently on the their website the everything like uh, their uh, procedure of publication their editorial procedure their peer review procedure their submission portals their uh, indexing uh, and abstracting information their archives and uh, their apc also so everything is available on the general website if the general is good and following the ethical practices then and uh, um, uh, for any other question you can even connect our 24 by 7 uh, support web support uh, or uh, on the uh, whatsapp also which is available on our website actually uh, so the, in this way we can support you full time uh, few uh, few participants uh, telling that previous certificate they are unable to download actually you must get an email uh, that is follow up email and from with every email we had shared the link for downloading the certificates Okay. and there is uh, there is one more thing i think probably the same person has written a comment uh, most of the institute do not agree with the ethical clearance for private practitioners okay. it's okay those problems are there but the thing is as um, uh, madam uh, uh, nikita has also said like you collaborate if you involve somebody from there from that particular organization or department and college then it is going to be better facilitated because um, you know putting someone or collaborating with someone um, in association will um, fasten your process that's there uh, yeah sure uh, now i would like to uh, launch another poll and uh, oh. yeah is it visible to everyone what is the first step in writing process that is publishing outlining proofreading or editing is expected answer is uh, outlining and uh, about today's uh, theme is also uh, a journey from imagination to publication so outlining is the right answer thank you all for the participation and uh, now uh, i would like to announce few uh, more winners Uh, best authors, uh, Doctor Almond Kemai from IP International Journal of Medical Pediatrics and Oncology, Doctor Javed Ahmed Mir from IP International Journal of Medical Ped uh, Pediatrics and Oncology, Mir Ujma Ashraf. IP inter uh, uh, IP General of Pediatric and Nursing Science, Ain Karuna Karan, Journal of Management Research Analysis, uh, then Mohammad Asif, IP Indian General of Library Science and Information Technology, uh, Sankesh Jain, International General of Oral Health Dentistry, uh, then uh, Onisha Ala Alia. Mustak from IP General of Pediatric and Nursing Science, 
देन सतैया बलन एम इंडियन जनरल ऑफ फॉरेंसिक एंड कम्युनिटी मेडिसिन शैफाना आयोग आयोग इंडियन जनरल ऑफ फॉरेंसिक एंड कम्युनिटी मेडिसिन सुनैना आनंद आई पी इंडियन जनरल ऑफ क्लिनिकल एंड एक्सपेरिमेंटल डर्माटोलॉजी अगेन आई कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट एवरी वन ऑफ दिस फ्रॉम दिस जनरल एंड स्पेशली फ्रॉम आई जे सी डी जे दैट इज इंडियन जनरल ऑफ क्लिनिकल एंड एक्सपेरिमेंटल डर्माटोलॉजी इज ऑल्सो रिसेंटली गेट इसकोपस इंडेक्स सो सबमिट यूर आर्टिकल हियर से स्वप्निका गौदापति फ्रॉम आई पी इंडियन जनरल ऑफ कॉन्जर्वेटिव एंड एंडोडोटिस स्वाति राज आई पी जनरल ऑफ डायग्नोस्टिक पैथोलॉजी एंड ऑनकोलॉजी अगेन दिस जनरल इज रिसेंटली इन अ प्रोसेस ऑफ इंडेक्सिंग स्कोपस इंडेक्स एंड वी वी रिसेंटली गेट अ न्यूज फॉर दिस इवन इन अ डे और टू ओनली सो आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल फॉर सबमिट टू सबमिट मोर एंड मोर आर्टिकल फॉर द जर्नल एंड दिस आर फ्यू स्कोपस एंड डैक्स जनरल्स एंड या नाउ कैन आई रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर अनु शर्मा मैडम uh to 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 take uh, uh to take a plaque of appreciation for on behalf of team innovative for presenting uh, a great and uh, enlightening us for the great knowledge about the research publication and uh, in the session of authorship a journey from imagination to publication so congratulation madam and thank, thank you, you very much thank for you so joining much. us it's uh, my pleasure uh, it's my pleasure and privilege thank you so much so, for giving me the opportunity thank you madam and thank you. Uh, now uh, uh i i am just stopping uh, my presentation in between i would like to congratulate every one of uh, you and i like to uh, see you all again tomorrow for the for the presentation uh presentation by dr sankalp yadav on citation and uh, another presentation is by dr sandeep uh, mishra from indian general of clinical anesthesia uh, so we uh, we must uh, uh, i mean uh, again have a feast of uh, um, knowledge and uh, ideas for the research publication tomorrow so uh, in between sadhna have you missed something uh, do you want to say something more actually what happened is uh, i guess your press uh, screen was unable to share at uh, that time so i uh, i cut to, yeah so do you want to say something yes ma'am i just to uh, have two slides more that's all yeah yeah please please share i i don't want to conclude at, at this stage you just share your slides thank you is it visible no it is not visible is now the visible it is visible so so yeah when we submit our article I told you the the steps how to to submit the article but first we need to register on our website we, by putting all the credentials we are able to register on the website and we are able to get the logins of the uh, portal or that is MPRP then we go to the next steps we just need to put all the details which is required like the name of the journal like our subjects sub subjects and all the categories by by going to the process by uh, giving uh, by putting all the things in the directions we can submit all the required details and we can submit our paper then wait for the next response from the journal 
then it will go for the scrutiny and uh, the editorial team will check all the plagiarism they will notify they will fulfill all the requirements were like the whether the article is met with the aim and scope the journal guidelines are met or not the editorial scrutiny is done the activation of the mail once the activation is done uh, for the for the further processes uh, the activation mail will be notified to all the uh, authors and uh, for the further processing next point is respond the feedback accordingly when the scrutiny is done we will get the feedback where about our article whether we are having any kind of corrections or not if we are having any correction accept either accept the paper correction or not respond accordingly with the justification take feedback in a positive manner never get panic never get be very harsh cause the expert take a right decision and they will give you the feedback accordingly so we should always need to be very positive at that moment evaluate corrections whatever corrections we are finding we just need to evaluate what are the mistakes and we need to work over it accordingly submit uh, or reattach the corrected file by uh, by putting all the corrections we just need to reattach and we submit our corrected file on the same portal by our login credentials cooperate and respect the peer re review culture it is the peer review culture this that is nothing personal so we just need to cooperate with all the editorial team reviewers editors and all experts by signing all the required documents regarding publishing and copyright we can go for the publication of our article this is the end of my uh, presentation thank you i really appreciate your insights and thank you very for your valuable time and consideration thank you very much Thank you, Sadna. Thank you very much. Uh, so now, uh, Sadna, can you please stop sharing? I will uh, share it again. Uh, so I hope I had uh, shared everyone's uh, certificates here. And your certificates along with your gifts uh, will be reach you soon through um, couriers. And uh, in case of uh, uh, any, I mean, we uh, you are connected through uh, our email ID, contacted through our email ID, info at the rate uh, ipinnovativepublication.com. So uh, please respond with your uh, mailing details so that we can send you your hard copy of certificates and uh, the journal along with uh, that, uh, the gifts too. So uh, at last, uh, I I must thank you and appreciate my uh, staff, Miss Sadna, uh, for uh, uh, enlightening the authors from uh, our uh, team, in-house uh, team, um, uh, journey of imagination to publication from uh, during the IP Innovative Publishing Week. And uh, I would like to again uh, request you to stay tuned and join us tomorrow for the again uh, feast of knowledge about research publication. So thank you very much for your attention and patience. Your engagement made this presentation more rewarding. I'm grateful for this opportunity to share with you all this every uh, information. So thank now you. again, once again, I would like to thank every participant, uh, Dr. Anu Sharma, ma'am. Thank you for your valuable thank time. You. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, um, thank you, uh, Sadna, for joining us. And uh, thank, you. thank you all. Have a great time ahead. Thank you, Nikita, ma'am, and thank you, your publication house. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, madam. Uh, stay tuned and join us tomorrow at the same time. Have a great day ahead. Bye. Bye.